Sid Watkins building is part of the Walton Centre Foundation Trust and our Brain Injury Rehabilitation Unit is within the Sid Watkins building. Um, the Sid Watkins building has other units belonging to the Walton Centre. The staff in the Brain Injury Rehabilitation Centre here were involved with um, the design of the building and the, even down to the decor, the furnishing, um, what rooms should be where, what rooms we wanted, as in therapy rooms, um, even office space, um, service user bedrooms, um, how they should be designed and how they should look. Um, the design of the service user areas are imperative for people with a brain injury because obviously they have um, they, they become very confused because of the brain injury and the environment's very important to them. The unit was necessary because initially our, our brain injuries unit was based at the other side of Liverpool, which is a long way from the Walton Centre. And given that service users, when they've had a brain injury, come to the Walton Centre, it seemed to make sense for our unit to be situated with the Walton Centre, which would enhance and improve the patient experience within the transition of care. Our facility provides um, outdoor space for service users, um, so we have a, a garden that's accessible from the unit and we also have an outdoor balcony that people can enjoy uh, and get some fresh air. Within the unit itself we also have many therapy areas such as a gymnasium, um, an arts and crafts room and we also have a rehabilitation kitchen where people can learn new skills um, following their brain injury. So I come to our unit, um, service users when they've had a brain injury um, will come to the Walton Centre here in the Sid Watkins building for their acute treatment and it seemed a natural progression for people to come to our unit following their acute treatment uh, to enable them to continue with therapy and um, it creates a smooth transition for the person within their care pathway. Um, what we've managed to achieve with our new building is that we now have a, a purpose-built facility that everyone will, will benefit from and we also have managed to maintain our Headway Accreditation Award. So my name's Anna, I'm the speech and language therapist working here, so in the team of therapists um, and I work with people with swallowing and communication difficulties um, but alongside the team because our main role is to work with people with cognitive emotional behavioural difficulties. The new unit's great, I mean from the image of it it's, it's wonderful, the rooms have been all designed um, with the team um, inputting into that so they're made for the patient so they're made to look as homely as possible um, so they've got their own sort of private space and yet they've got all the resources around them so we've got a nice lounge where we can run groups um, and be together as a group socialising we've got the kitchen um, that, that's easily accessible um, for the patients to do rehab in it We've got the gym um, that has some new high quality equipment in it and again so it's all working towards them being able to move back home or back somewhere with as much independence as possible. I mean the great thing about the unit is that, that people come here and stay here and for some people they find that difficult because they just want to go home and they just want to access things on a day-to-day -day basis but actually with it being 24-7 it means that they're accessing therapy all the time 
because the rehab co-therapists and the nurses support the therapists if, if we're not in at the time or we're with someone else to carry on doing that rehab and that just makes people get better quicker which is sort of the purpose of it um, and it means that it's it's more like real life because actually life isn't just popping to an appointment on a Monday morning it's it goes on you know every day seven days a week and, and that's what the unit's about it's it's getting people so they're as, as strong as they can be to get back to that reality. One of the great things about the move of the Brain Injury Centre from Mossley Hill to here in the Walton Centre is that it gives us an awful lot better uh, medical backup. A lot of our patients have already been inpatients within the Walton Centre as well. Plus, in addition, the Walton Centre has lots and lots of backup, both in terms of scanning and x-ray facilities, but also in terms of expert opinions and expert support from other specialists across the board. One of the great things about this unit is that it allows integration between the services uh, both between both the rehab services and the Walton services and, and ourselves. It means that patients and their families just simply move up the stairs to our ward rather than having to move far, far away. I have severe brain damage from falling down the stairs. So I have brain damage now. I'm better, but I have brain damage. As I say to my son who lives in Canada, it's like the Hilton. <laughs> it's like the Hilton Hotel. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. It's spotlessly clean everywhere. The staff are marvellous, even if you just want to chat about something. I've only been speaking for three weeks, would you believe? Nearly six months. And look at me. I can speak. We do things like crosswords with, with the, the person who knows her best about it. So we can, they can see how far back your memory goes or the fact that you do still have a memory. I make my own breakfast, but I don't eat a cooked breakfast. Not a big Scottish one anyway. <laughs> I have Weetabix or Rice Krispies and toast. And I do my own orange juice. Now I couldn't do that before, but after supervision of, let's see if you can do it. They don't suddenly throw you in a tea pen and tell you to do it. They help you to do it. People come in here and um, you know, they've been through probably one of the most traumatic things that anyone's had to deal with in life and hopefully they go out of here in a better way and that's, I think, what any, any person that's working with people wants um, is to make a difference and I feel that the Brain Injury Unit is making a difference in a really positive way.